All right, Miguel. Well, getting in and around Clearwater is about to get a lot easier. The new Gateway Expressway, one of the biggest construction projects in Pinellas County, is finally set to open up later this year. After years of work and several delays, two new toll roads will now connect directly I-275 to US-19 and the Bayside Bridge. It'll be one of the biggest changes to traffic flow in the county since the Bayside Bridge first opened 30 years ago. But in the decades since the span was completed, the bridge has earned a bit of a bumpy reputation, and the backstory is just as baffling. Of all the spans bridging the bay, this one is bound to bounce. It almost feels like you're in a bounce house, you know? <laughs> Look closely at the cars and you can see... All of a sudden, it just starts jumping. The Bayside Bob. I used to take that route almost every day. When I first drove over, I thought something was wrong with my car. <laughs> the Bayside Bridge leaps the bay. When it opened in 1993... I'm going to say sayonara, US 19. Commuters commended the new span connecting north and south Pinellas County. It's going to split the traffic. Mm -hmm. But as it turns out, the bridge's bumpy backstory can be traced to its very beginning. Oh, absolutely. David Duranzio is Pinellas County's bridge and roads manager. He says there's a reason the bridge is only bumpy at the south end, and it starts with the concrete slabs used in construction. They used two different construction practices to build this bridge. They were designed to arch upward, the idea being. So that when they sit in place, they settle down to the right elevation. The only problem? they never settled. The south side was the most sensitive environmental location that we had. They had to come up with a creative way to build that side of the bridge while not impacting the, the environment. Um, so that's why it, it had its challenges. And it's a difference you can not only feel, but see. See these columns here and see where the, the piles change? Uh -huh. You see where they look like they're more combined together? Yeah. That's the different section. That is so, okay, now I'm gonna look at it totally differently. It might not be smooth, but it is safe. Duranzio says the bridge is inspected every two years. Wow, wow. Who knew? Well, you figured it could put something to make it even. The cost to fix it? Well, that, the county says, is simply a bridge too far. Yeah, rebuilding just a part of the bridge, well, that would be too pricey. But even just to repave it, like you just suggested, well, they said that wouldn't be feasible either because adding asphalt on top of the existing roadway would add too much weight. You can learn more about traffic, construction, and navigating that soon-to-be open Gateway Expressway. Head to the Community Connection section on our free 10 Tampa Bay app.